Welcome everyone to the Fisherman Feast of Boston, honoring the Madonna del Socorso di Shaka. And that's what this next show is all about. It's in honor of our ancestors who came over years ago. In fact, this is the 101st anniversary of the Fisherman's Feast. This play is put on by these little children who want to do a tribute to our great Madonna. It's, it's done by an organization called NEMPAC, which stands for the North End Music and Performance Art Center, right here in the North End of Boston. We're very proud to have an organization like this. So, at this time, I want to turn the microphone over to Kerry, and uh, we'll take it away from there. All right, John. by our friends at the North End Music and Performing Arts Center. They're here to help explain why we have a Fisherman's Feast here in the North End every summer. The story of the Fisherman's Feast starts all the way back in the year 1300 in a tiny Sicilian fishing village called Shaka. Everyone now, Shaka! Right, now this story called a miracle, or in Italian, miracolo, begins with a monk named Niccolo Bruno who wasn't feeling very well. Oh, I feel terrible. My stomach, my neck. I am so hot. Surely I will die in this bed. <laughs> I am the Madonna del Socorso di Shaka. I am here, I'm here to save people. Now get out of your bed and spread the word. Oh, I feel much better. My neck is better. My stomach. Thank you. Thank you, Madonna. The Blessed Mother, she appeared to me. She is here to help us. You may not see her, but she is here. She is here at Shaka. She is here for you. So there's the first miracle, or miracolo. Niccolo Bruno thought he was done for. He couldn't even get out of bed. With the help of the Madonna, Niccolo got out of bed and spent the rest of his life spreading the word of the Madonna's commitment to help the people of Shaka. fishing village of Shaka. This story is about a bad girl, so pay close attention. Oh, 
Wow, that was a powerful message to the village of Shaka. The Madonna beat the devil. <laughs> now, to understand the next miracle, please bear in mind that Shaka was a fishing village. The people of Shaka knew they were very lucky from their parents and grandparents, they knew of the miracles of the Madonna del Socorso. Giuliano Mancini and Bartolomeo Ferrataro, who were gifted sculptors, went to Palermo to build the statue. The sculptors traveled from Shaka to Palermo to build the statue out of a heavy stone called marble. When the statue was finished, the sculptors discovered a little problem. There was no boat big enough to carry the statue from Palermo to Shaka. Well, what do you think happened next? We are the fishermen of Shaka. When the statue of the Madonna was finished, over 200 fishermen were needed to carry it to the dock. Where it was then placed on the largest fishing boat from Shaka. With such a heavy load, the fishing boat was barely able to stay afloat, let alone sail to Shaka. The fishermen secured their boats to the boat carrying the statue and in tugboat fashion escorted the statue of the Madonna out of Palermo across the seas to Shaka. When the boats entered the harbor of Shaka, the fishermen were greeted with applause and gratitude. In recognition of their sacrifice and gratitude, the town of Shaka rewarded the fishermen with the honor of carrying the statue of the Madonna. To this day, the only people allowed to carry the statue in Shaka are the fishermen of the town. So, you may ask, what does all this activity in tiny Shaka have to do with our fishermen's feast right here in the north end of Boston? Well, did you ever walk through or play in Christopher Columbus Park? Yes! This little piece of Boston Harbor became home port to a group of fishermen from Shaka who immigrated to the United States and fished the New England waters for many, many years. The fishermen had wives and children who grew up right here on these streets of the North End. And because it's not nice to go home to your wife after a long fishing trip all smelly and hungry, so, the fishermen built themselves a clubhouse where they could take a shower have a meal before they went home to their loving wives and families <laughs> With the dues that the fishermen pay to the club, they put on a great feast every year around August 15th, the day that the Vatican decreed Madonna del Socorso, the patroness of Shaka. The mission of the fishermen's feast is to carry on the traditions that were brought to the United States by the fishermen of Shaka. The festivities begin with the descendants of the fishermen moving our statue of the Madonna from her home at the club to a place of honor on the corner of Fleet and North Streets.
The first Fisherman's Feast was held in 1911, making it the oldest religious feast in Boston. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, the more things change, the more they stay the same, from a tiny village in Sicily to the bustling streets of the North End. For those who keep their eyes open for miracles, the miracles come again and again. And for that, we honor her with a marvelous feast that brings people and families together. Thank you.